So saying, Lightfoot Iris passed away. Then rose Achilles, dear to Zeus, and round the warrior's puissant shoulders Pallas flung her fringed aegis, and around his head the glorious goddess wreathed a golden cloud, and from it lighted an all-shining flame, as when a smoke from a city goes to heaven, far off from out an island girt by foes. All day the men contend in grievous war from their own city, but with set of sun their fires flame thickly, and aloft the glare flies streaming, if perchance the neighbors round may see, and sail to help them in the war. So from his head the splendor went to heaven, from wall to dyke he stepped, he stood, nor joined the Achaeans, honoring his wise mother's word. There standing shouted, and Pallas far away called, and a boundless panic shook the foe. For like the clear voice when a trumpet shrills, blown by the fierce beleaguerers of a town, so rang the clear voice of Eocides. And when the brazen cry of Eocides was heard among the Trojans, all their hearts were troubled, and the full-maned horses whirled the chariots backward, knowing griefs at hand, and sheer astounded were the charioteers to see the dread, unweariable fire that always o'er the great Pelion's head burned, for the bright-eyed goddess made it burn. Thrice from the dyke he sent his mighty shout, thrice backward reeled the Trojans and allies, and there and then twelve of their noblest died among their spears and chariots.